Hey everyone, the US trade war escalated this week as President Trump announced a new 5% trade tariff on Mexico. It's 5% on everything coming over the border, and that rate is primed to go up faster than Boris Johnson's legal bill, with analysts saying it could quickly ramp up to 10%, 20%, 40% maybe, very much like when I'm making margaritas. The Mexico tariffs are ostensibly there to do with immigration and paying for a border wall. In reality, it's got a lot more to do with diverting the news away from the Chinese trade war, which has been getting perilously close to that bit where newsreaders start to discuss inescapable supply chains and that starts to make the whole thing sound like it might be a worse deal for consumers than that time that Samsung tried getting away with selling $2,000 foldable phones that broke when you folded them. Mexico, however, its largest exports to the US are vehicles and machinery, most of which is owned by US-owned companies who outsourced years ago, so the emphasis here is really on relocating those manufacturing jobs back to the US. Although given how corrupt the system is, it could easily just be that the grain whiskey producers lobbied to destroy the tequila market in much the way that they destroyed my memory of last Sunday afternoon. If I were in charge, I'd just avoid all this and get rid of the tax deductions companies receive when they outsource. Whatever happens, so a lot of this is being done with zero oversight, and perhaps it might work out okay in the end, but it does seem like there's a lot on the line here. It's a bit like writing me a huge cheque to come to a party as a balloon modeler, and I've guaranteed I can make balloon animals, but then on the day it turns out that all I know how to make are snakes. Balloon snakes. And I've already cashed the cheque by now and spent the money on a new wall, and possibly some gin, because that isn't subject to the aforementioned import tariffs. Anyway, see you next week. It's like these clips subscribe.